Hi guys, Jennifer here with a whole lot of love and today I'm going to do another Dollar Tree haul. Um, the last haul I did was basically a lot of things that um, I needed for my kitchen for a home organization. Um, and if you would like to see a video or progress or the final results of that home organization, please let me know in the comments below and I'll let you know how I did that. I used at least a minimum of 10 things in my kitchen actually um, to organize my um, kitchen a little bit better um, to be more efficient with my family, my busy family's lifestyle. So this haul is a little bit of kitchen stuff, a little bit of some other little things, and then some things from my home office because now I'm kind of moving into my home office, kind of wrapping up my kitchen organization and trying to really focus this month of March um, in my home office. Um, but like I said, if you'd like to see that video of my um, work in progress or my final results of the kitchen, let me know um, in the comments. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I got, I got um, four of these giant poster boards, and these are less than a dollar. I think they worked, they were like 59 cents, which I thought was a pretty good deal, and I was there anyway. And I am a Girl Scout leader. Um, I'm um, a leader of a brownie troop, and this is cookie season. So we're selling cookies at cookie booths um, and all that jazz, and we actually had a booth yesterday. So I only have one left of the signs that the girls decorated that said, cookies and the cookies that they had and how much they were so they could put it up on their table to sell their Girl Scout cookies. So I got four of those um, to kind of last just for the rest of cookie season for the different booths. So that is that. Um, the next thing I got, um, like I, you probably know, I am a dance teacher um, and I teach classes with um, the youngest child being two years old and all the way up. And at the end of the class, if they do a really good job, which is pretty much they always get a sticker of some sort. Um, and I found these scratch and sniff stickers and this is a Coca-Cola one. Um, this one is a bubblegum one. And this one is strawberry scented sorted dessert one. And if you're even a teacher, it doesn't necessarily have to be if you're a dance teacher or work with children. If you're a preschool teacher, a toddler teacher, or even an elementary school teacher. Um, and I remember getting these when I was little and I was so excited. And basically what you do is you kind of like scratch the sticker and you smell it. And the kids get a kick out of the different scents. And there's 62, 68, and 60 in each one. Um, so I picked up that four dollar, not bad for scratch and sniff stickers. So I picked up three of those. The next thing I got, I'm doing a lot of spring cleaning too, as well as I'm as I'm home organizing organizing. Um, there's like some painting things I want to do and some other detail things I want to do. But right now I'm in Michigan and it's in the middle of winter and I like to have a lot of ventilation when I'm doing those things. So in the meantime, I've been just kind of cleaning up things, appliances, surfaces, and another YouTuber, and I can't remember who it was because I've listened to so many, um, so that you can find these dry erase um, pads at the Dollar Tree and there's two of them and they said they work just as well as like the Mr. Clean and all the other brands out there so um, they're called Scrubbing Buddies there's the Quick Erasers there's two of them and I thought these were going to be perfect because I have a lot of deep cleaning that I'm doing in various areas to kind of clean up those white surfaces or any surface that I can get pretty clean so that was a pretty good deal. The next thing I got because I am spring cleaning is this micro fiber cleaning towel and I'm always trying to find ways to save and also to help the environment and this is like I was going to use for um, cleaning my um, my windows, windows and things like that. So I did get one of these because I didn't purchase a lot of these. Um, I'm probably going to go back if these work out to be um, awesome and get more but I just bought one to see how this goes so I got one of these. The next thing I got is I've been battling a cold. Now my son's battling a cold. My daughter's battling a cold. My husband and all that is these pocket tissues that I can pretty much put in my purse, um, in their backpacks, um, in their dance bag and baseball bag that they have for emergency. Um, instead of putting like a big box of Kleenex, I figured these eight individual packs um, would work out great. And um, so I did pick up an uh, eight pack of that which is, I mean, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, the next thing I got is this Travel Bottles. And I, um, it has like a spray bottle and it has two little bottles where you can squirt out something for some of the homemade solutions I use or the big economical bottles that I buy. I can like put them down in the smaller bottles and label them for a different thing. Like I'm gonna put use, this one will be rose water. Um, these other ones I'm gonna make a makeup remover um, for my eyes, a homemade makeup remover. And then the other one I'm gonna make another homemade um, 
cleaner for my face. If you're interested in my journey in that and how I make these, let me know and why I use the rose water. I think I have it in one of my favorites of why I use it, but that's why I got that. And I, there was three of them for a dollar, so I thought that was good. The next thing I got is this Jumbo Memo Clip, which is right here. Um, and I think the, my vision for this was I only got one, but I think I'm going to go back and get a couple more is to put pictures on it, large pictures to put in my office. If not, I'm going to for sure use it for like, you know, you always have like those couple sheets of papers that you need to either file or you need to take care of like um, doctor's appointments that you get in the mail, little reminders. I kind of want to clip them on here so I know at night if it's something I can't take care of at the end of the night before I go to bed first thing in the morning, I can just pull it from the clip and start using them. So I'm going to see how this goes. So I got one of those. The next thing I got, which is new at my Dollar Tree, and it's probably at your Dollar Tree. It's maybe been for a while, but they have these mason jars, like imitation mason jars, um, that I'm going to use for um, the home office and also for the kitchen to store things because it has that screw on lid and then it also has that pop like a mason jar um, to store different things in there like um, beans, nuts, um, dried fruit because we have a lot of those things and I have to keep a lot of these things airtight in my pantry because I get a lot of, you know, I'm in the country kind of so I get a lot of critters if I don't if I'm not careful of how I store things plus I do a lot of like whole and natural things and those insects and different pests love to come in my house because I have real food so I gotta make sure I store things very properly and then also I was thinking for like my home office for like buttons um sequins like little things like that for crafts and all that so I have, I bought a bunch of these. I can't even tell you how many I just bought. And you probably could get like a 12 case a lot cheaper at Walmart, maybe. Um, but I just bought a bunch and I'm going to label them and use them. So got a bunch of those. Um, the next thing I got were these little red um, tubs. And I got three of these little tubs and they're plastic and they have little handles that I'm going to store in one of my um, shelves in my home office because I have a lot of spray paints and glitter paints and things like that I can think of one bin could be for. And then I, for some reason, have accumulated a large assortment of popsicle sticks. Um, I am a Girl Scout leader, so we do a lot of crafts and that was passed down from a previous leader. So I need a big tub for that. And then I, um, the other tub I'm going to use for something and label those and put those in there. So when I'm going through the process of my home organization for my office, if you would like to see a video on that, um, what I'm using from the Dollar Tree or from various places, let me know in the comments below. The next thing is they have these little um, glass, like small glass jars, and these are like really heavy. They're really heavy and really durable, which is what I really like, and it has a, like a little lip right here. And what I was envisioning that I'm going to use these for, these are in my home office, is on my desk. Because right now I have everything on my desk, like pencils and pens and markers, all in one mosh posh thing. And it's really irritating because if I need to pull a pen, I have to like dig through them and find a pen, a pen or a pencil or a Sharpie. So I'm going to label like pencils and put pencils on my desk that I have it there, pens in another one, and then Sharpies in another one. Um, so, and I thought it'd be really pretty, like if they're displayed really nicely, the pencils sharpen caps and all that and display that. Um, so that is it, I believe for my, oh wait, one more thing. My dad, I already kind of took this off cause I wanted to see if it fit over the door is they had these like, um, iron over the door hangers and I use this in my kitchen and I'm also going to use it in my home office to kind of hang my things that I bring in at the end of the night because I have um, bags that I use um, for work and then I have my purse and then I have a couple other little bags I use for things like for shopping and things like that and there's really not really a place that I could store it. and I have so many things that come in and out of the house like we have a main like closet that we use for everybody for our scarves and mittens and hats and um, coats and boots and shoes, but I need something like where all my work stuff can go, like my work bag and my purse and um, some other little things. So I figured I might just put these over the door in my home office um, in the closet to store those things, and they're pretty durable. I mean, you cannot bend them, so I need something a little heavy. So I'm going to put that over the door instead of drilling a hole in the door and then deciding I don't want to use it. I figured I'd do that, and then if I want to drill a hole in the door and put a, a lifetime hookup, I can so that is the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree. 
other than that, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see any of my home organizations or more um, hauls that I do in the future, let me know what kind of hauls you want to see. Um, put those in the comments below. Um, and if you want to, if I do decide to do those videos and you don't want to miss out, make sure you subscribe. Other than that, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.